الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد الله سبحانه وتعالى has encouraged us to supplicate to him توكل على الله سبحانه وتعالى rely on Allah your Lord سبحانه and this is a encouragement for myself first and foremost and to those who are listening may Allah سبحانه وتعالى protect you and increase us all in good because in fact when we look at the verses in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encourages us and we look throughout the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we look at how the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam were رضي الله تعالى عنه مجمعين we see that they relied on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with true God fearfulness and they remembered Allah often meaning they praised Him often and they supplicated to Him never despair and forget that your Lord can hear you no matter what sin you just did. No matter how the people condemn you. You and your Lord, no one can disrupt that relationship. So pray to Him and supplicate to Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ مَدْعُونِ يَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَخْبِرُونَ عَنْ إِبَادَتِي سِيَدْخُنُونَ جَهَنَّمَ دَاخِرِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and He said, uh, your Lord, call upon me, means supplicate to me, and I will answer you. So Allah will give us. Verily, those who are arrogant, by, not wor- by refusing to worship me, meaning refer- refusing to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then they will enter the hellfire forever by having arrogance towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And... Sheikh Saeed ibn Ali ibn uh, Al-Qahtani Hafizullah Ta'ala mentioned something very beneficial here with regards to supplication. He said that the shurut or the conditions for supplication are five. He said they are ikhlas, meaning that you have sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're only worshipping him and him alone and supplicating only to him and him alone. Subhana. And mutaba that you're following the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. You're following his manners and etiquettes in supplicating. And that the third thing is that the person has, uh, you know, is firm in their supplication and belief that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer their supplication. So having thiqa billah ma yaqeen bil ijaba. So having certainty and pure faith that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer you. Also, the fourth thing he mentioned was that your heart should be present and Fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also having hope that He will answer you and having humility before your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the final thing He said is that you should be determined and firm in your supplication. So don't make supplication saying, Oh Allah, please forgive me or please grant me this or grant me that, inshallah. Don't say that. But instead say, Oh Allah, please grant me this. Oh Allah, please forgive me. And leave it as that. And be firm in your supplication with humility before your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who remember Him often.